Gio, welcome to the show, let's have some fun. We bump plug trust now. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Shamaya, and you're watching Sweep the Lead TV on this very new segment of Sweep Unplugged. Shout out to the founder, Rudy Campos Jr. Also, big shout out to the Hall of Famer, George Gurren himself, and also Coach Gio, man. We have a pretty solid team doing big things, and uh, if you eat, if you want to watch them live, Monday through Friday, you can catch them uh, Monday nights at 9 p.m. Central Time. But we have a special guest today. We have uh, Sophia uh, Torini. She has a website that you can dive into. It is tapintoyourbestself.com. She has a book out. She has a lot of cool, interesting uh, things that we're going to be exploring today. But just a little background on her. She is a certified clinical EFT practitioner. She is a, a NCS trainer under Dr. Joe Dis. Benza, and also she specializes in hacking uh, reality and uh, meta consciousness. She is uh, someone that has education background as well, masters in public health, and a background as network engineer. First and foremost, I don't want to take up 15 minutes of your whole time. I want to say thank you for uh, joining us tonight. How are you doing? Thank you very much, and uh, it's a pleasure being on your show. And how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. So uh, kind of give us a little bit more detail of your professional background and we'll get into your book a little bit later. Okay. So uh, my professional background now is in clinical EFT, which is an energy healing modality. My original background was in medicine. So I have a master's in epidemiology. And after my own challenges, realizing that I could not heal with the existing medical model and having a chronic illness that was life-threatening for over 14 years, uh, finally, I found uh, another way to heal. And that is what I teach now uh, to the world. So a lot of people don't know what emotional freedom techniques. It's a combination between cognitive psychotherapy and acupuncture without needles. So we actually tap and the various meridian points in the body. So the combination of both allows energy that's stuck in the body to move. And all disease is a lowering of frequency in the body. It's the stress that we accumulate, the anger we cannot let go, or the, whatever emotion that we're being challenged, but mostly stress because it activates the sympathetic nervous system. When you think about uh, your experience working with your clients, at what moment do you believe uh, kind of reconfirm the power of EFT and the reality of hacking uh, for transformation? I see when the person, I see it pretty quickly, but when the person actually puts, um, it's not effort, but a willingness to feel their emotion, I see change quite fast. I've actually seen a lady that had Tourette's for close to 40 years heal in successions. So uh, not everybody heals that fast. I did not take that fast. I took 18 months. <laughs> so I was a slow mover. Uh, so mine was progressive because I had a lot of things that I was holding on to. Dealing with uh, chronic Ill Ill illnesses, if I can say that, uh, what do you see uh, potential breakthrough for people being able to uh, not just learn about what you do, but being able to apply it for their own personal benefit? I think uh, once the person is open and at least tries one or two sessions and willingness to look at themselves, they actually will feel almost immediately right away. And then it's a matter of time before they heal, but it's a modality that they can apply by themselves. The only thing that I don't recommend to do by themselves, not that they can't, but it's advisable that if there is some serious trauma that they work with a practitioner. Okay, so because then they will be sucked into the trauma and we don't want that. But for other things they can, and if they have fears, they can start and add it as a complementary modality, and then eventually they will see that they start healing. Like I was taking my medications in the beginning. I did not go like quit them. And then eventually I didn't need them anymore. And there were a few. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to go through the list. 
and there was uh, some stress and some anxiety not being able to sleep i don't literally take anything right now for those uh watching sweep unplug talking to our guest today sophia uh, torini you go to her website tap into your best self.com uh before we get into your book kind of explain a little bit about your services and and what was the uh, main process for people who are new to this and how can they, uh, I know it's easy, but uh, how, how can they get started if they are interested to learn more? Okay, so I offer a half hour complimentary uh, session. They don't have to book anything. It's free. I'll explain the process. We'll see if we're a good match. I also offer a neuroscience course. Uh, it's a course that I teach from Dr. Joe, Joe Dispenza. He's pretty popular nowadays. And uh, it's an hour complimentary preview of what the course is going to be. We do know now neuroscience wise that the brain is can be changed. It's neuroplastic. So nerve cells that fire together, wire together, but also nerve cells that no longer fire together, no longer wire together. So if you prune those synaptic connections on negative thinking, and you uh, bring your body back into coherence, the body now can heal and the brain can change, which is very important. Traumatic memories are held between neurons and the combination of both, both EFT and this neuroscience, we can reset the amygdala and the hippocampus. So they can sign up for those two things for free. I also have a blog and I also have a free tapping guide for people, an ebook, and then I actually have an e uh, a real book that's going to be coming up in about a month's time. And there's tons of resources. I'm happy to help because uh, I struggled for a really long time. And in those days, it wasn't openly on the internet as we have everything today. I mean, now you could just click and you can find anything you want. When you look at the opportunities to not just help people understand the benefits of what you do. Uh, what do you hope people can appreciate from understanding that there are additional resources that they can explore? Well, the main message I want to tell is two, besides exploring the resources, no matter where you are at, because I was almost not going to be living anymore, right? So no matter where you're at, your life can change. That's number one. And these tools that are learned, especially the two ones that I teach, you can take them to do them at your home. So you're not dependent on someone for the rest of your life. And if it's stress or traumatic memories, we can rewire the brain. And under the right condition, the body knows how to heal. When you were a child, you fell off your bike. You didn't keep on looking on your arm. Is it going to heal? Is it going to heal? You just knew it was going to heal. So under the right conditions, the body has this innate ability to heal. And let's assume you don't have uh, an illness, but it's high stress or not being able to control your reality. The same principles that I teach apply for something else. And the goal I want is people to be happier, have a better world not to be so stressed. I mean, look at the news, which I don't watch, but it's 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 like fear mongering 24-7. Yeah. I mean, fear sells, but joy can sell too. Happiness can sell as well. You mentioned that you have uh, a book coming out soon. For our audience, uh, let us know. I know you're on different social media pages, but let us know what is the timeline that you think you're going to have it published. And if there's any ways that they can maybe order it early or okay. just stay up to date and follow you, how can they do so? Oh, sure. I uh, will uh, email you and then I'll put a, a thing on my website. In the meanwhile, they can get the free ebook for the basics that's already there. And it should be in a month to a month and a half. Uh, I cover everything on EFT and how and some principles of neuroscience, brain waves, trauma, and what we didn't discuss, how to change your reality and jump timelines. There's a brief section on how to jump timelines, and that would be very helpful for some of the people who are not happy in the reality they are. 
when you look at your personal experience uh, holding a master's degree in public health and understanding the process of your own journey, how you've been able to navigate life uh, as we have some time left, kind of talk about the part of how you've been able to just maintain your your uh, your good mental health because that's something that we all have to face. I mean, you, you mentioned about news uh, always having some negative cycles. What are some of the things you've been able to do on your personal journey to maintain your uh, mental health? So I want people to know it wasn't that easy for me, first of all, but I am a different person now, number one, because I believed everything the medical model taught me. So for me to let go of the belief that I was this condition was incurable took a lot of work. But what did I use afterwards? I used meditation and I used EFT. I, so I meditate every day for anywhere between an hour and 15 and an hour and a half. I do some exercises before writing down my thoughts and what do I want to change? That is something that I do. I have not missed a day in a little over six years. I tap every day. And even though I'm a certified EFT practitioner, I still, not that I have to, pay or swap a session because the mind that created the problem can't usually solve it. So I do that because I choose to do that. Um, in the beginning, I needed it and I did a lot of sessions. Now I just do once a week for myself, though I do tap on my own every day. I do watch my thoughts. One thing that I changed, I do not check my cell phone first thing in the morning. And if people can just pay attention and listen to this, as soon as they wake up, there's about 30 seconds to a minute where you're coming out of your delta brainwaves going down to theta and alpha. There is a window there that if you don't start thinking of your problems, you can set your intention in the day. It took me a while to figure out that window. But if you start worrying how your day is going to be and what happened yesterday, your day is not going to go as great. So I use that 30 seconds before I jump on out of bed to see what it is that I want to do. I do do a gratitude journal. I do forget some days, but I remember it mentally and I do it through somewhere in the day. It's better to write it. Why? Because we engage the right side of the brain. And it's very important to, to engage the creative part of the brain. Uh, and then I watch my thoughts. Am I perfect? No. Did I still get angry? Yes. But I used to be angry 24-7. So it's longer. I'm sorry, it's shorter than what it used to be. I'd be angry for days. And when bad news hits me, it happens to everybody, it usually lasts shorter. And then I consciously try to do to create my day, but I also get joy from helping people. When I see another person that I'm helping, and sometimes some of my clients at certain days are more motivated than me, then I said, well, if my client can do it, maybe I need to snap out of my rut again and pick up what I'm already teaching. So it's a good reinforcement. Once again, you're watching uh, Sweep to Lead TV and this new segment uh, of today, Sweep Unplug, where our special guest, Sophia uh, Torini, go to her website. Her website is tappingtoyourbestself.com. And keep it on the same topic, but kind of thinking about uh, from a different perspective. When you look at athletes today in sports and, and you talk about team and uh you know, being able to work together. And if so-and-so can get out of funk, then, you know, I can get out of funk as well. I can I can work on my, my mental game and get through, you know, those challenges. How do you see uh, what you do for your clients also be beneficial for athletes out there? Because they are too uh, on that self-healing uh, journey and also empowerment. So there's a couple of things. First of all, athletes do mental rehearsal. They usually, which is actually what I do and what I teach. So they've already have started at a good place, but sometimes they can't sustain that mental rehearsal, right? So if they know that they have a clear intention with an elevated emotion 
and they clear the low frequency motions that happen because someone kicked them or an accident or someone's not treating them well to see it as a, a, a an opportunity versus as a negative event and reframing and reframing so not using the negative thought spiral so there's a video uh that I, it's included in the course uh it's called the race it's an old video from the 80s this woman's running 200 and uh she trips she was winning and she trips and they step on her on top of it i did not see a second in that video her stopping she got up ran and ran so fast because she had practice up to that point that she won the race even though she fell up they stepped on her and tripped so athletes usually the majority of them put a lot of practice so if they remember that they put a lot of work keep the mental rehearsal envision the end result they've already won the race right not they're going to win they've already won the race and reframing the people who attack them the people who give them attitude because there's a lot of adrenaline with athletes right to reframe it but use that adrenaline not for an attack for someone else for yourself i mean this lady could have said they stepped on me and be pissed off she run I, I actually couldn't believe watching the video she won the race yeah i, I know the video you're talking about i remember uh seeing that on youtube it has a ton of views uh a viral moment of, of that situation and definitely got from that uh don't quit don't give up just because you have the perfect excuse maybe to throw in the towel uh the great things can happen when you keep pushing yourself no matter what and that's a perfect example from an athletic uh perspective once again uh we're talking about eft and again that's emotional freedom techniques you go to uh, sophia's website tap into your best self.com learn more about what she's doing you can also follow her on social media instagram tap into your best self and before we let you go Gotta say, from Sweet Delete TV, man, happy almost Thanksgiving Day. Uh, you know, everyone's gonna have some great food tomorrow. But for you, uh, what's some of the things you try to enjoy when uh, you have some food with the friends and family? I'm gonna spend time uh, with uh, family and especially a relationship that I worked on a long time to heal and got restored. So, a family member uh i will eat healthy uh because you know um, you i think treating your body well is important uh but also the meaning of thanksgiving so being grateful for what i had i could have been at a very different path i remember that path and it's also thanksgiving the beginning of the holiday seasons to start planning not necessarily fully tomorrow what better vision can I have for my next year? And what can I let go from this year that didn't serve me, right? That's and just point. enjoy what I have. I mean, to be quite honest, I am lucky. I worked with a client today. I was told like two weeks ago, her home burnt down from some fires. Wow. And, uh, you know, I've been privileged, knock on wood, this hasn't happened to me. So even in, whatever is happening to us we can find something positive and enjoy the family and time and for people who are alone because there was a period of in my time that i was alone and it could get very sad for people and they get distracted is to see to find some positive good things about themselves and what can they do to spend quality time with with themselves because there are a lot of people who are alone maybe they don't have family or maybe They've lost someone, and those holidays can be very hard for those people. Well, once again, uh, great words of encouragement and wisdom for our, from our guest today, Sophia. You can go to the website again and, and follow along with what she's uh, going to be up to in the future. It's tappingtoyourbestself.com. Uh, I want to say thanks again for you not just being on Sweep Unplugged, but uh, – just sharing your insight and not just your life journey, but what you are doing to make an impact with your clients in their lives. So I always want to say thanks for not just taking time 
but also uh, sharing with our viewers some profound uh, insight from your perspective. Thank you. And it was a pleasure. And if I can help along the way, anyone, I'd be happy to do that. Thank you very much. And have a great Thanksgiving day tomorrow for yourself and your family. Appreciate that. And likewise, once again, for our viewers, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You've been watching uh, Sweep Unplugged. Big shout out to Rudy, G uh, Coach Geo, and Hall of Famer Derek Gervin himself. Y'all can watch them Monday through Friday. Until next time, hey, tell a friend, tell a friend. Happy Thanksgiving. And make sure you're watching Sweep Elite TV. We'll be back very soon.